Hello friends, I am Akshay. Welcome to Technologic. Today we will discuss about one more topic which is Spark uh, Catalyst Optimizer which, which is the core of the Spark SQL. And um, before starting to this topic, I, I would like to thank you all for uh, liking our channel and uh, the content uh, so much. Please do share uh, the channel with your friends and uh, connections and um, please share your feedback and if you want to like uh, to uh, have any particular topic to be discussed in this uh, upcoming videos please do share I, I will definitely make a video out of it and we will discuss on that in detail so let's start today's topic and uh, please watch till the end so uh, if you talk about the catalyst optimizer, the first thing you need to think why a optimizer is needed. So it's needed because when a Spark SQL developer develops a SQL script, he is focusing on what to fetch from the data. But he don't think or that is out of focus of him is how to fetch the data so and you are dealing with big data so a query performance can be a uh, like a very important factor in your uh, core design so what uh, catalyst optimizer do in very uh, basic terms or in just few liners so first thing it does like it will create a tree from the operations what you are performing in spark sql and second thing it will do it will optimize that tree through the transformation and third thing it will do is um, it will generate the code in RDD and MapReduce and send it to the Spark code for execution. So this is like the overview of what basically Catalyst Optimizer can do. And this transformation has multiple steps. Like first thing is create a logical plan. Second is optimizing the logical plan. Third thing is creating a physical execution strategy out of the logical plan and then choosing the best physical plan using a cost based approach. So this is the holistic view of any catalyst optimizer. Next thing is that uh, uh, what is the like basic data structure of catalyst optimizer. So catalyst optimizer use mostly the tree structure so how that tree of operation is built so let's have an example right select uh, you can say select name from select id comma name from table uh, student where id is equal to one so you have this uh, sql script now if you transform that to a uh, tree of operation then like first thing you are doing you are having a uh, scan from the table student and you are projecting id and name and in the second phase you are uh, third phase you are filtering out uh, id is equal to one and in the fourth phase you are projecting the name of the student so this is the holistic view of how a tree is created now if you are closely watching this query, you can see the mistake a Spark developer, Spark SQL developer can do. He, if he thought of the how to do part, then he will definitely uh, put the filter when he is reading from the table and he will not fetch ID and name both well he is interested in name only. Now we will uh, discuss about the catalyst optimizer 
functionalities in detail. So first thing a catalyst optimizer do is like creating a unresolved logical plan. Second thing it does like creating a optimized logical plan. And so first step is called analyze. Second step is called optimize. Third step is creating a physical plan from the logical plan. So that is actually the execution strategy on the cluster. And the fourth phase is actually generating the best physical plan using a cost based model. So these four steps. So first step, when this tree of operation is created, when you submit a Spark SQL, it can be a Spark SQL, it can be a SQL, uh, it can be a data frame operations or it can be a data set operation. So all three things will be converted to the tree of operation. But that is unreserved because whatever table and columns you are referring in your SQL, we are not sure they are existing in the database or not. So to uh, resolve it, we use a catalog. So the catalog help us to um, uh, find the table metadata and the column metadata from the uh, like the catalog is the like uh, you can say repository of all the metadata information of the uh, tables and columns you use in Spark SQL. Next thing is when you create a logical plan, then actually the catalyst optimizer start to optimize the plan by putting pushing down the uh, predicate and the selection part towards the database or towards the source you can say. Third phase it will create a physical plan out of the logical plan. So that phase is actually it will create various execution strategy of on the cluster for that spark sequel or the tree of operations. And then when different plans are created, different strategies are created, then actually it will get a cost based approach to get the base plan out of it. Then when it get the base plan, then the next phase of operation will start. So there another scalar feature it use that is called quasi codes. It actually transform the tree to the R set of RDDs and then it is executed. So this is the whole view of uh, catalyst optimizer. Uh, hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, please do subscribe the channel to get a notification on the upcoming videos so that you don't have to miss it. Thank you so much.